Mexico is a powerhouse. It has the workforce, the geography, and the rich cultural history. But are all of these enough to turn Mexico into a future superpower? Your answer would probably be, nah, not really. That's what we thought. Because just looking at the demographic facts to determine Mexico's future superpower is doing grave injustice to its leading strengths. After all, it's one of the top 15 largest economies in the world and the second largest in Latin America. Before we set the record straight for Mexico, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to never miss a video from us. What makes a superpower a superpower? To set the context, let's examine the most pressing question. What makes a superpower a superpower? Even though there's a bit of a lack of consensus over this term, there is a checklist that a country needs to tick off before the world deems it a superpower. First up, we have economic potential. A superpower has to have the bucks, and we are not talking about pocket change. We're talking about wealth that leaves other countries in the dust. They need their economies firing on two cylinders critical technologies, and a top-notch scientific and industrial base. But it's not just about the money. A true superpower needs to master the six dimensions of state power. You have geography, population, economy, resources, military, and cultural influence on that list. If you can master all that, congratulations, you can hand yourself the crown. Now for the real question, does Mexico have the capability to master all these six dimensions? The answer is yes. In fact, Mexico already torpedoes five of the dimensions on the checklist. Don't believe us? Let's take a look. Geography and Population With a population of almost 130 million people and an area of over 1.9 million square kilometers, Mexico ranks as the 14th largest country globally. But here's the thing. The countries that rank above Mexico do not have the geopolitical strengths that it has. As it turns out, sharing a 9,330 square kilometer coastline with the Pacific Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico makes Mexico a luring trade partner. If we take New York City as the baseline, it takes only 5.4 days to transport a container by sea from Mexico compared to China, which takes 28.7 days, and Brazil, which takes 13.1 days. No wonder the US is shifting its manufacturing hubs from China to Mexico. Mexico's proximity to the US and free trade agreements with other nations give it a promising future outlook. A future outlook that sets it up perfectly to be the future superpower. Now, Mexico's got some major export game going on. We're talking cars, computers, and auto parts. They are the MVPs of Mexican exports. And who's gobbling up those goodies? The United States takes the lead, purchasing 83% of Mexico's total exports in 2021. Canada comes in second, taking up 3% of the export pie. Mexico's trade partnerships provide a much clearer picture of its resources. For starters, they have been rocking the NAFTA-USMCA trade block with the United States and Canada since the mid-90s. But wait, there's more. Mexico is also a member of the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership. This includes Japan and 10 other trans-Pacific countries. The fact that they are spreading their trade wings far and wide says something about Mexico. The game is strong. According to Sergio Amazan Esqueda, the president of the country's Association of Mining Engineers and Geologists, Mexico has the mineral resources and the technical know-how to make it big. And when we say big, we mean superpower big. And do you know what's driving this growth? It is all about the demand for minerals from technologies like renewable energy and electric vehicles. We're discussing the stuff that powers our world, communications and medicine. Mining is the backbone of these advancements. According to Amazon, in today's world, mining is more important than ever. The world needs it to keep the wheels turning and meet our growing needs. And Mexico is ready to take on the world for obvious reasons. One is that they have a mining tradition. Second, they are recognized internationally. Can Mexico leverage that to strengthen its geopolitical position? 110%, and we don't say that lightly. Here, take a look at the economic position of Mexico. Economy by 2050, Mexico is projected to become the world's seventh largest economy. With a focus on manufacturing, exports, and attracting American companies, Mexico's eyes are set on economic greatness. In 2023, the Mexican peso reached its highest level against the US dollar since 2017. And it's not just a one-time thing. This currency power results from capital investment from the United States and China, and tighter monetary policies. So, we're talking about some serious peso strength here. 
In fact, CME Group, the big player in trading, saw record-breaking action in Mexican peso futures. The peso's climb at the beginning of 2023 excited everyone, and the daily trading volume went through the roof. We're talking about an average of 105,000 contracts with a 2.9 billion value. That's like a 71% increase compared to 2022. Regarding growth, the Mexican government's latest budget forecasts are promising. The country's economy is predicted to grow by up to 3% in 2023 and 2024. That's a lot! Plus, foreign direct investment in Mexico shot up by $18.4 billion in March 2023. That kind of growth post-pandemic is exemplary. And it doesn't hurt to have Tesla, the electric vehicle giant, setting up to build a vast gigafactory in Nuevo Leon. Do you know what this means for Mexico? 10 billion in investment and 10,000 jobs. The thing is, Mexico is making waves with its proximity to the United States, attractive investment opportunities, and strategic growth plans. What does that sound like to you? A future superpower in the making. Cultural influence Mexican culture is world-renowned culture. That is one fact no one can deny. Mexico's ancient civilizations, like the Aztecs and Mayas, have left their mark on global culture. Their art, architecture and mythology still inspire and influence artists and creators today. But hey, it's not just about the ancient stuff. Mexican cuisine is a big deal too. UNESCO has even given it the nod as a global cultural treasure. Mexican food has made its mark on culinary traditions worldwide. Salsa and tacos? Anyone? Let's remember the music and the dance scene, too. From mariachi to salsa, Mexican beats have taken the world by storm. And when it comes to cultural festivals dedicated to Mexico, they're happening both inside and outside the country. So, Mexico's cultural influence isn't just recognized, it's embraced and celebrated globally. That makes Mexico perfect. Having an influential culture gives you sufficient leverage to emerge as a global leader. At the end of the day, power is all in recognition. Military strength It's no secret that China, India and the USA have the leading military in the world. However, Mexico currently ranks 31 of 145 out of the countries considered for the annual Global Firepower Review. It holds a power index score of 0.4687 with a score of 0.000, considered exceptional in the GFP assessment. It is posing itself as an emerging military leader. The money allocated for administration and equipment in the 2023 Federal Trust Fund for Administration and Military Equipment Payments of the National Defense Secretary was recorded to be just under 136 billion pesos. That's approximately 7.2 billion. The combined budgets for the Congress and Federal Judiciary for the same period are reported to be around 93 billion pesos. That's roughly 5 billion dollars. Mexico's military budget is higher than the budgets of the legislative and judicial branches combined. Given that Mexico is just getting out of a rut of political instability and has climbed the world ladder fast, there can be no underestimation of what it can achieve in a decade. Enjoyed this video? Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share this video with your friends. See you next time!